Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Galvin with today's coronavirus update. It is Wednesday, May 19th, uh, a beautiful, rainy, miserable day here in North Carolina. That's why I'm filming inside. I sometimes try to do it outside. Uh, for those of you just watching this for the first time, my name is Jeffrey Galvin. I am a, a physician. I'm board certified in emergency medicine and obesity medicine and run a functional medicine clinic here in Charlotte, North Carolina, but I also still work in the emergency department. We usually start these things off with the numbers and the numbers today, 4.9 million cases worldwide confirmed, 322,000 deaths, 1.67 million people have recovered. Here in the United States, we're at 1.5 million confirmed cases, 92,000 deaths, 291,000 recoveries. In my state of North Carolina, we're up to 20,000 cases, 691 deaths. Um, interestingly, the numbers in North Carolina have kind of spiked, but that's probably because we're doing more and more testing here. Um, and that's probably what's causing the increase in numbers of cases, not necessarily more actual cases. Now, we're, as we're reopening and we're doing that in North Carolina, I think we're going to be heading to four, phase two like many other states are going to be doing. I believe we are going there on Friday. We have to closely watch these numbers because remember, cases are going to lag reopening by several weeks because people need to get infected and there's a, an incubation period of, of a week or so or longer. And so we're going to know more about the efficacy of reopening in the next you know, several weeks, I think. There are some interesting things, I think, on the horizon in terms of treatments. And one of them was a company called Sorrento Therapeutics that actually has found an antibody that binds to the virus 100% of the time and may be used as a preventative uh, measure uh, until things like vaccines are, are available. And so apparently if you get this, this antibody, it'll be floating around in your bloodstream for a period of time and it'll act like intrinsic antibodies and will bind up the virus particles so your immune system can destroy it. They're talking about production already, but I, do, I, I see that the, the testing they did it was in vitro, meaning in the test tube. So it seems like they've got a lot of clinical trials to go before it can actually be released as a product. But, you know, hypothetically, you could provide about two months worth of immunity while other therapeutics are being developed. The other thing is that uh, Moderna has come up, uh, has released some initial results from a vaccine trial that they had, and I believe 61 of the uh, patients that were given this experimental vaccine have been shown to have developed antibodies against the virus, which is what the idea of a vaccine is, that you provide the body with a deactivated or modified virus that can't cause illness that is very similar structurally to the offending virus. You produce antibodies against that, and those same antibodies will work against the virus. I think their phase two is something using 650 um, uh, patients as the phase two. I think there are 70 plus vaccine trials that are going on worldwide. Do we know which one is going to be effective? We don't know yet. The biggest thing I think is going to be to see if these vaccines are safe because just because you develop an antibody response, we need to make sure that we don't develop untoward side effects or unknown side effects. So it needs to be tested in a lot of people and they need to be followed for a period of time. And that really probably is the rate limiting step in developing effective vaccines. I've gotten a number of questions about swimming pools and, and I know my my friends and family up in, in Syracuse are probably not thinking about swimming pools, but down here, you know, it's 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 pool season. It definitely is. My, my kids were in the pool this weekend. It was beautiful. Um, and so what's the deal with, you know, can it be spread by pool water? Well, I think it's, it's pretty clear the virus cannot be spread by pool water. Chlorinated water is going to kill the virus, whether it's chlorinated with chlorine or bromine or salt. Those things are effectively going to kill any active virus particles. Now, that being said, if you've got an infected person at the pool and you're sitting two feet away from them and you're talking to them and they're spraying saliva all over the place, you're going to get, you're, you may get effect, infected. So maintaining social distancing is going to be important. But I think you can take your kids to the pool, just keep them you know, a little bit isolated from everybody else. I wouldn't worry about them while they're in the water splashing around because the pool water is going to kill the virus. But it's all the other activities go around or go on around the pool that you need to, you do need to be careful about. But I wouldn't lose a lot of sleep about your kids being in pools or yourself being in a pool and catching the virus from the water. 
Tomorrow we're going to do a Facebook Live with just an open, we're going to make it open for people to ask questions. I've got three other doctors joining me, Peter Hogenkamp, who's a family medicine physician who I went to medical school with, uh, who's up in Vermont. Uh, Mark Kirchhoff, who I also went to medical school with, who is an emergency physician in Indiana. And John Bream, who I've had on previously, who's an emergency medicine uh, doctor here outside of Charlotte. Uh, the four of us are going to be on there. I've got a, another um, physician I've got an invite out to. I don't know if she's going to be able to join us or not. I haven't heard back from her, so I'm, I'm not going to commit, commit uh, to a fifth doctor yet. But the idea is we'll get on and we'll answer people's pressing questions. You can ask us whatever you want. If you've got questions already, and a lot of people have, go to our Facebook Live announcement and put the questions there, and I'll print them out, and we'll try to make sure that we get through as many of those as possible. We'll probably do it for about an hour and again ask us anything you want if it's you know virus related if it's conspiracy theory related we'll answer what we can if we don't know we'll tell you we don't know but um i think it'll be a really good panel and i think it'll be interesting as usual if you find this interesting please subscribe to our youtube page like us here on uh, facebook or uh, like it on youtube hit the bell on youtube to subscribe follow us on facebook I will be back tomorrow. As usual, wash your hands to protect yourself. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Take care of those around you. And I look forward to the Facebook Live tomorrow. Good night.